Good morning, you guys. This is the day after Porter's birthday. He had such a great day yesterday. Um, I kind of felt a little mom guilt because it kind of felt like a normal, regular day. Um, just with some presents that he opened because really the big day was this past weekend when we did his birthday party but he's three i think the day was good enough for him he went to school and was celebrated there and then i had to take grayson to soccer practice last night and so anthony stayed back with uh, Porter and Avery and he and Porter watched a new movie together which I think Porter thought was special and he loves like one-on-one -on -one time and then Anthony ended up making him like a milkshake with some candy in it and so I think he really liked that too so I think we made it a good day for him he loves his presents I got him this remote control tractor and he's obsessed with it he had it sleep in his bed last night i know it's a good toy if he wants to sleep with it in his bed so he's been loving it we're actually charging it right now because it was low on battery but today is a very big day huge huge day because today is the day that avery gets her helmet on we are about to leave less in less than an hour to go and get fitted and put this helmet on are you cooking a helmet? What do you think? Are you going around your head? Porter's just sitting here watching some little baby bum. And Avery's playing with her kick piano. I'm trying to clean up my house a little bit because my mom is going to come over and watch Porter for me so that I don't have to take him to this very important uh, appointment. They also told me it's going to be long. It's going to be like an hour long because they have to fit it. They have to make sure it fits right. And then they're going to show me like how to put it on, how to take it off, how to like clean it, take care of it, different stuff like that. So I really didn't want to bring Porter to that appointment. And I'm a little nervous about getting back in time to get Grayson off the bus because he's a kindergartner. They will not let the kids go off the bus unless they see an adult like standing there outside to get the kid just for kindergarten which I get it like he's five but I was just a little nervous because her appointment's at 10 30 it's all the way downtown they said it's gonna be an hour so I'm thinking I'm gonna get here like right at noon maybe a little later and Greg gets off the bus at like 12 15 sometimes even earlier like one day it was at like 12 08 so anyway, that's a long explanation, but my mom's just gonna come over and help me. I don't really know what to expect. I have looked on TikToks. If you just type in like plagiocephaly or helmet, usually TikToks will come on. So I have a little bit of an idea of how it's gonna be. She does have to wear it 23 out of 24 hours every day. We do have to clean it once a day. Otherwise, I think their head just gets very sweaty and then it gets smelly. So they told me to get 70% um, alcohol to clean it so I got that from the store I also saw online that it's good to lay it in the sunshine if it's warm enough outside and the sun will kind of clean it and desensitize it too so I know about that and then I'm just hoping that she adapts to it okay I've been having a really hard time knowing that this is coming because I love kissing her head I don't know what it is but I just love doing it and I won't be able to do it anymore because she's got a helmet on and I just hope it doesn't mess with her sleep schedule although she has been all over the place with sleeping it's been so bad lately last night she woke up at 1 a.m which never happens for her and then she woke up at 6 a.m and usually if she wakes up at like 6 6 5 36 i can feed her and then just put her right back down she did not want to go right back down so i had to stay up with her and then i went and put her down at like 7 30 because it had been an hour and a half and that's like her wake window and i swear she slept like 10 minutes and then was up again i don't even know if she slept and that's just been like how it is lately she's been taking horrible naps like 45 minute naps i don't know if she's like something's developing i know she's going through a mental leap right now um i have the app the wonder weeks and it'll tell you like when their brains are um, learning a new skill or developing something and she's in that right now she just started that on sunday so that could be contributing to it she's super close to crawling so maybe that's kind of part of it i don't know but her napping has been and really just her sleeping in general has just been 
horrible. But she seems to be okay. I mean, she's not too grumpy about it. Um, I'm hoping that this helmet doesn't interfere any more with her sleep than what it already is. I just hope it goes okay, and I hope it's not too much of a hassle. <laughs> like, selfishly, I just have a lot going on. I got three kids, and now I have to add in, oh, you've got to take the helmet off, and you've got to wash her hair every day, and wash the helmet, and it's just another thing to add on to my busy schedule. So hopefully I can just seamlessly input it into our daily life. Um, I'm also nervous about the judgment that we will get when I take her out and about and people see that she's in a helmet. I'm wondering if people are just going to think that like something is wrong with her, like she gets seizures or something, which I mean, technically there is something wrong with her. Otherwise, we wouldn't be getting a helmet, but it's not severe. Like it's just we're rounding her head. So I'm just preparing myself for all the same conversations I'm gonna have to have over and over and over again about her helmet. I just hope this whole process goes smoothly and I hope it goes fast. I hope she doesn't have to wear it for too, too long. But that is what we are going to do today. She's gonna get her helmet. You can decorate these helmets, but you have to like spend it on your own dime. I think there's like wrap kits on Etsy that you can buy. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave it. They're just white. So I will definitely take you guys along with us. I'll record what I can. We took her a week ago to her um, imaging appointment and we went there, but it was so fast. I didn't even get out the camera. It was like 20 minutes. And they basically just put like a mesh sock over her head and took pictures of all angles of her head so that they could create the helmet that we are putting on today. So we did go back last week. It was super fast and easy. And now we are going back for the intense uh, one hour our helmet appointment. Stay tuned for that. The one thing I am going to be happy about this helmet is she likes to do tummy time now. Likes. She does better at tummy time now and um, she will push herself up. But the problem is, is that she will roll over pretty quickly and she rolls over so fast that a lot of times if I'm not there to catch her, she like whacks herself, whacks her head on the ground, like not meaning to do it. It just happens. So with this helmet, when she does tummy time, she it will protect her head, which is good because lately I've been having to put like pillows on either side of her for when she rolls over, but then she gets mad because then she can't roll over because the pillows are restricting her. So it's like a lose-lose situation. I basically have to just like sit there and hold my hands out, but then half the time it's like, oh, she's leaning one way, she's gonna do it. And then whoop bam, she'll like quickly change directions and go the other way and then I can't catch her in time. So not that I'm a bad mom, it's just she's very fast with the rolling. So I am um, happy that the helmet will protect her head that way. And she does have two crazy older brothers who like to accidentally step on her or wrestle on top of her. And so at least her head will be protected from that. <laughs> but let's go and get this helmet going. <gasps> what do you think? <gasps> what do you think, Avery Brin? You got your helmet? And your feet. Yeah. So we are back from Avery's appointment. And she got her helmet. What do you think? Mama. So they put it on her and then they made some marks on the helmet and then um, adjusted it with their little machine and then put it on and then adjusted it again. And then they said she looks good to go. So we'll go back in 10 days to see how her head's doing and if they need to make any more adjustments. She seems to do okay with it. She does like swat at the helmet like what is this? But it hasn't been too bad, huh? So every three to four hours, I have to take the helmet off of her just today and tomorrow and see if there's any red marks. And if there are any red marks, then I have to wait and see if they disappear. If they don't disappear after an hour, then I have to call the clinic and I'll probably have to go back in so they can make some adjustments. So hopefully that doesn't happen because I that clinic is so far away. The boys want to go outside and play, so we are going to go and do that. But yeah, so she's wearing it and... Seems to be doing okay in it. Uh, I guess we'll just see how time goes. Um, they say that it's really hot wearing the helmet and it takes them about five days to adjust to like the heat of it. Just cause baby's heads are naturally just like really hot and then you put something on it, on top of it, just makes it hotter. So I'm keeping her, they said to just do a onesie for the first couple days and um, put the fan on in the room. So we are going to do that. See, I got my helmet. Let the journey begin. Let's go outside and find him. 
All right, we're gonna go cheer on brothers outside. Avery. Yes, you don't. Hi, baby. Are you doing tummy time? Hi. So it's been a couple hours and Avery's doing well with the helmet. Although she won't take another nap. She only took one nap today. Uh-oh. So she might have to go down early because she's just a sad girl. Huh. Hi. Oh, really? I did check a little bit ago and took her headband off and checked for redness. And she did have two spots of redness, one on like the one on her forehead and then one on like the side of her head um so i left the helmet off and then after about 30 minutes it went away so we put the helmet back on so i gotta check it one more time at the end of today and see how her skin's doing her skin did seem to be rubbing a little bit on her forehead so just have to keep watching that make sure it doesn't like scab over a blister or anything like that she seems a little fussy can't really tell if it's because she's not sleeping or if it's because of the helmet and i can't tell if she's not sleeping because she's just going through sleep regression or because of the helmet but she falls during tummy time and it doesn't hurt her anymore because she's got the helmet on so that's a plus <laughs> so i'm learning i'm fixing my head it's heavy it's actually not she thinks it is and I'll make you pizza. Hi, Avery. Hey, baby. So I wanted to show you guys um, what the band, or what the, I keep calling it a band. I think it's called a dock band. I wanted to show you what the helmet looks like now that it's not on her. Um, this is the front. This is the back. The inside is like a foam color. Sorry, it's kind of hard. I'm focusing, but it's just a foam on the inside. Um, hard plastic on the outside and then this little velcro to keep it together so that is it i have it off of avery because i had to check her scalp for any redness and she's a little red all over so i'm just kind of letting it breathe for a second um but last time she had like red right here and then like red here and that's basically gone so it's just a little red so i'm just letting it breathe for a second then i'll put it back on so but she's been doing really well with it We'll uh, see how she does tonight, though, huh? Mommy. Mommy. Yeah, whoa. Mommy, you crazy mommy, girl. Mommy. She's trying to crawl. She's trying mommy. so hard. Mommy. What are you doing over there? Mommy. We got a big bubble bath going. Mommy. I'm making you pizza. And Gray's making me a pizza. That's one of the presents Porter got for his birthday. Are you ready to put the helmet back on? Miss Avery said. She said, okay. So anyway, yeah, this is it. These ones are unique because they're the most open on the top. A lot of headbands, they'll just be closed on the top and they'll only have like little breathing holes punch, like punched in. But this one's like almost completely open at the top and then it's just on the sides. And I think these things go up basically on the sides that need more help, I think. So anyway, that is what we're working with here. It's just this... Headband.